How's it going, everybody? It's it's Donnie, and I just want to let you know that I'm never going to use Tinder ever, ever, ever again. For, main, for the main reason, they say that you can have a free account, but you can only have a free account for so long. But at the same time, even though that it's not having a promotion at all, and it's supposed to be free, you still only get to use it for so long until it... on until it automatically kicks you off and then or it slow or it slows or kills your absolute your account speed or pretty much just doesn't let you log in at all then when you call and when I called them they said that I had to pay for a f premium account of which I cannot afford and they tried they still kept trying to push it on me I've I told them I could not afford it as for because I asked to talk to the supervisor waited about five minutes after and then I got the call from the guy who told me that I still had to pay for a premium account even though that it was clearly supposed to be free they because they said that even though that it advertises to be free you still ended up having to pay for it after either about a day or two and I only had my account for not even two hours I had my account for not even two hours and tinder took it away from me Tinder ex tried to exploit me for money so that they could get me to pay for their lousy ass service when you could barely even use it at all because it, it's, it was just really crappy on the iPhone 8 and big huge mosquito I just swatted that thing mosquitoes are evil they really are that's why I sprayed. That's why the last one that came close, so close to me, I sprayed it with bug spray, and uh, you should have seen it. It was it was crawling on the floor, gasping for breath. You have you you really don't have any, any idea how how dramatic that that experience was. But Tinder is evil. Tinder is obviously evil since they were bought by Facebook, and everyone knows from the Cambridge Analytica Analytica scandal that recently happened. Tinder got their accounts hacked as well. Yep. Tinder had so many of their accounts hacked because because of this stupid thing. We're talking information, we're talking information stolen, account information just completely out in the open. That was supposed to be hidden completely out in the open. Like everything up for like shit was up for grabs. And that dawned on me when I discovered it. When I discovered upon their number from a from a very nice YouTube video, the supervisor, when I was calling them on their bullcrap, because clearly what they were doing was false advertising, which was violations of some arbitrary of some arbitrary law. And the man called me stupid. Yep, he. He openly called me a dumbass on the phone. Basically, he called me a dumbass on the phone. So I pretty much, so I told, him, so I pretty much said f him and said goodbye after that because I was not going to continue that conversation any further. There was no point. It's unbelievable. It it's really unbelievable. That there are dating apps like that that will hold your account hostage and force you to pay for something in order to continue it. This is the death. This is part of the death of net neutrality, people. It's already happening. Accounts accounts have already been have already been hit and destroyed so many freaking times. And there have been so many reports happening of Tinder's accounts being destroyed in last year of seven of uh, 2017, and it's happening right and still happening right now. But now they're making you pay for it, regardless that you've not even had the account for a full 14 days or not. So this is bullshit. This is absolute. I'm calling it as it is. It's bullshit. It really is bullshit. So if you have Tinder, 
I would highly recommend go to something else that hopefully is in favor of net neutrality and won't try to exploit you for money to use to use a free account. Yeah, it, a free account is no longer free if you steal the account from up and under the consumer and hold it hostage until they pay you money. That's that's bait and switch. And there are laws stacked on top of the laws currently that allow this crap, but still legal in some way. It has to be. It's got to be. It's good. It's too good. It's too horrible not to be. It's too horrible to be true. But the main reason was that I'm so bitchy about it was because that I met a nice guy on this app. I met him and we were getting along just fine until the app shut down on me and kicked me out permanently. And the rude supervisor whose name I already forgot so I'm not even going to bother to mention. I'm thrashing you Tinder and I'm calling you out. You are a terrible piece of shit. And I really hope that eventually you will get what's coming to you, which is the full serving of karma that has obviously not been dished out hard enough or at all because Facebook has your back. Well, you keep screwing up. Eventually, Facebook will drop you. And then who's going to protect you from us? To sue the living crap out of you. Because you're holding love hostage, and that's not cool. It's one. It's actually one of the viol. It's actually one of the most old violations of of like pre-recorded history. Like one, you never mess with a person's lover. Two, you never mess with a person's e. You never mess with a person's ego. And number three, you never mess with someone's money. And. Tinder has violated all three of that. All three of them. All in one go. For me. So. I rate Tinder a big, huge, negative 500 quantillion. If that's even a number. I don't know. Some, some mathematician genius. Please make that into a number so that I can prove it to be something bitch worthy. Because I am not done bitching yet. Well, actually I am. I ran out of steam of this whole ordeal quite a while ago. But that's like the only dating app that I've ever had a bad experience with so far. I think I just might as well go back to free Facebook dating until I can afford it to like go on a real dating app. <clears throat> I mean, I'm I was getting along with this I was getting along with this one guy and it was going on so well. Like we were having a whole lot of stuff that we were related it was like relatable to. Like we liked shows and stuff and hiking. I'm being really vague about it. But hey. It's just really crappy, you know? I don't appreciate it. And I'm sure none of you appreciate it as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the terrible uh, times you've had with a dating app and how it affected you or is it a good one? Do you have a good one that you actually recommend? Uh, all info is good and I'll see you in the next video later